the official state drink of Maine, celebrated every July with a parade in Lisbon Falls. Moxie Day, that's Moxie Day. Making this small town in Maine the center of the Moxie universe, complete with Moxie merch and refreshments like the Moxie Bomb to go with your wings bathed in Moxie-flavored barbecue sauce. We still have people that stop in and call us the Moxie Museum. Frank's restaurant in Lisbon Falls is steeped in Moxie history. First produced in the late 1800s, Moxie was originally marketed as a nerve food. Its taste, as its tagline promises, distinctively different. Lisbon Falls native, Tracy Austin. Moxie is either love it or you hate it. You don't kind of like it or tolerate it. You either love it or hate it. But here's the thing. Moxie was never made here in Lisbon Falls. In fact, Maine's official state drink was never made in Maine. So how to explain the love affair between Maine and Moxie? One man, Frank Anasetti. It was truly Frank. Frank's love just intoxicated the entire town to come and love it too and celebrate it. The late Frank Anasetti loved his moxie so much he embarked on a decades-long one-man crusade to glorify his beloved beverage and lift it to its exalted statewide status. In 1998, Chronicle's own Peter Mahegan visited Frank's general store in Lisbon Falls, where he was urged to give moxie at least three sips before passing judgment. Oh, it's wicked good stuff. <laughs> When Anasetti passed, Tracy and her husband bought the old store and turned it into their Moxie-themed restaurant. There was never any question what they were going to name it. My husband and I, you know, grew up here, so we were immersed in the Moxie festivals and things like that. We knew right off the bat we were going to name it after him. We circle back now to the first home plate on tonight's menu, the One Socket Dynamite. A close cousin to the Sloppy Joe, dynamites are so popular in this small Rhode Island city, they're routinely served at community events. A lot of people do it around here for fundraising events, like I'm hosting tonight. Best dynamite! This is Dave Langto's 11th annual beer and dynamite fundraiser at the local Elks Lodge. Money raised will go to support his Run to Home Base, a 9K that begins and ends at Fenway Park. The home base program is a program that provides care for veterans and their families who suffer from PTSD and other traumatic brain disorders. A worthy cause for sure, but if you press Chris's friend, Ken Jones of Chicopee, he'll tell you the real reason he drove close to two hours to be here tonight. To be honest, the dynamite. That's why we're here. That's why me and my wife are here. Langto made this evening's dynamite himself, and he's secretly hoping there will be some leftovers to bring home. Usually I always have some frozen. It's, you can never go without dynamite. And this year's run to home base will take place Saturday, July 30th at Fenway Park. Chris Langto and his dynamites raised 6,500 for this worthy cause. And back to Moxie, don't tell anyone in Lisbon Falls, but Moxie was formulated here in Lowell, Massachusetts, and is still bottled at Polar Beverages in Worcester. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.